Hey, what's up everyone? You're looking at Juice Box Entertainment. I'm your girl, Miss Liz, and we're getting the juice with my guy, Kareem Grimes. What's going on? What's going on? Kareem is a Hollywood actor, you guys. He's been in over 59 movies, am I correct? Yeah. Not 59 movies, television and films. So well, I mean, well. 59 credits. 59 credits. He's constantly working, right? Yeah, by the grace of God, thank you, Jesus. You're constantly working up for me. Yeah, just grinding, that's it. I so think you... it's uh, just, you know, positioning yourself, whether you're doing a play. So for all those actors out there that want to make it, tell them how you get out there and make it happen. You just got to do it. You got to believe in yourself. Um, I think it's, it's a different time now from when I was coming up. We didn't have Instagram, we didn't have Facebook, we didn't have Vine. Um, so now you have these outlets to be able to create, put something out there, whether, you know, you're doing monologues or you're doing a scene or you're doing a sketch or whatever, um, and you have these outlets. Now me, it was just back in the day, it was good old audition and, you know, acting classes and, you know, do some plays and, you know. So how long have you been doing? <clears throat> 20 plus years? 20 say. plus? 20 plus, yeah. Still grinding, still yeah. on the move, still trying to make it. So you you see... I wouldn't it, say trying. No, well, what I'm saying, saying is you're yeah. still doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you're still going for the gusto. Some people would have given up by now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it takes hard work and dedication. And it, it doesn't happen overnight, even though you have social media mm -hmm. and you have your back shots out. That doesn't mean you're going to blow up overnight. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm just saying because some you know, people blowing up overnight, but it'd be oh, like 15 minutes for real. For who real. blew up overnight for 15 minutes? Oh, New York blew up for 15 minutes. Oh, uh, you got a lot of people now. The Instagram famous doing walkthroughs and carrying on, and I'm just like, really? Okay, but Instagram it is, is. I still, I still, Twitter thugging. Yeah, I still, I still believe in you know, I still believe in the craft and uh, right. Like you have you to know. go take classes. You got to tell these people like you can't just. Have, is there any actor that you know have went in an audition that has never taken an acting class that really made it like all the way through Hollywood? It's interesting. You hear stories, but I forget. I forget the person's name. You know, all I can do is, you know, remember the names of the people that I admire. You know, that right. actually put in the work. Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Wright, um, of course, Denzel Washington. Like um, Denzel? I mean, all the ladies like Denzel. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, you got... Uh, who else? Man, I got so many. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's, it's so many. It's so many. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne. He's been around for many, know. many years. Yeah, Angela Bassett. Uh, so uh, you have a lot of, you know, a lot of cats that I admire that are in my, you know, in my in my group. Amari Hardwick, um, Nate Parker, uh, you know. Uh, but pretty much your career, I mean, it's not booming as you would say. I think it's booming actually. You're a working actor. You're not yeah, like, you know, there's actor. a difference between yeah. a working actor and a Hollywood actor. You know what I mean by that? Some people are known mm -hmm. and some people are working. Yeah, absolutely. There's a difference. Yeah, I mean, uh, I would definitely consider myself a Hollywood. I mean, working I definitely a working actor. actor because, you know, I book jobs, but at the same time, I do have a side job. So You I have to keep up so you can't be out here I struggling to be a starving on TV artist or a starving actor. So. And can't pay your bills because you waiting on the gig and you got a family right. at home. What's wrong with y'all? Right, right. I don't I don't like <laughs> Tell you, the people you I don't like you top ramen. Or, ramen or invest your money. Yeah. What you mean? You Absolutely. don't like eating top ramen? Uh -uh, people out here eating top ramen. <laughs> you like couple noodles? No, I don't <laughs> even like couple noodles. That's why I, I, that's why I keep a hustle. I keep a hustle. What's your other hustle? What else do you do? Um, I do everything. I strip, I sell, no, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Chocolate City. Ah, Chocolate City. Nah, nah, nah. No, nah, for real, like, I do lift on the side. Um, That's great. I do promo gigs with Samsung. Um, big shout out to them. Hey, um, Samsung. And, uh, yeah, I just, you know, train people on the side, consult, you know. You have so to have multiple gigs. You I at least have one five time. streams of income. I remember one time Vivica Fox said that she had over three jobs before she actually made it to where she was trying Absolutely. to go. So Absolutely. you Absolutely. can't just be out here pursuing acting, sleeping on the carpet, 
Go yeah. out here and get a job. Go out here. You never know who you're going to meet. People meet people every day mm -hmm. in restaurants, waitressing, all kinds of stuff. So You know, in the words of Liz, don't be out here lollygagging. Shucking and jiving. Shucking and jiving. <laughs> out here being frivolous. <laughs> right. <Okay. laughs> so, you go out here and get your hustle on and yeah, anything absolutely. is possible. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Anything else to tell the people? Um. Yeah, definitely learn, learn as much as you can about the craft. I mean, you know, with that, there's a good and a bad side of these social media outlets is that, you know, people get on Vines, Instagrams, and they think they John Single Lens because they pick up a, <laughs> <laughs> they pick up a phone so or, or a camera <laughs> and they do these six seconds or 15 seconds. But at the end of the day, a lot of it too is, a lot of it is, it's, it's, it's funny. But a lot of it is ignorance, and a lot of it needs to be, I mean, it, it needs to change as far as do something smart, do something that makes people think, um, because anybody can say the word nigga and make a joke out of it. Yeah, that's you not, know that's, what I'm that's old. That's yeah, it's, it's old. Like, so it's okay. just like, you know, with that, you still have to learn the craft, and you still got to put in your time, period. And you have to be confident. You got to be confident to a point where... You can't be talking confident. Let your work speak for itself. Let your Action. work, yeah. Let your let your body of work speak for speak for itself. And that's how I am right now. Like I, I definitely let my work speak for itself. People say, "What you done?" I'm like, "I've done some things, but you don't never be like, oh yeah, whoop de whoop." Yeah, because a lot of people in this town, they be like, "Yeah, I was in Minnesota society." Oh, but that part got cut out. Yeah, but at That's the same that, you know. time, they over here talking about a project they did 10 plus 15 years ago. And it's like, what have you done now? You only hot as your last project. What are you doing now? I just did my second. No, not you, oh, but oh, I was saying no. like, no. But what are you doing now since you decided to tell me anyway? Yeah, I just finished my second episode on uh, this show called Instant Mom. Which is on Nickelodeon. That's a good thing. With Tia Morrow, Michael Bowman, and Shirley Ralph. You one of the original Dream Girls. I like Shirley Ralph. She's not playing with like me. And she is amazing. She still looks amazing. Beautiful skin. Beautiful skin. So you playing Otis the security guard? No. <laughs> it's What's funny. I do play name? a cop. His <laughs> name is Officer Leary. Officer, Officer Lear. Officer Lear, which is based off of Norman Lear. Okay. Who was the creator of a bunch of TV shows back in the 70s and the 80s. So, um, they called me back for a second episode. I did that. And, uh -huh. you know, so... We Maybe just, they'll call you back and you just have a Yeah, role. who knows? We, we, we'll know. see. We'll see. So, but other than that, just grinding, auditioning, and, you know, creating, wrote a script, and trying to get funded. And getting buff on them out here, working out. Up at the Culver City stairs, killing the yeah, game out here, showing you how to get your abs tight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you're in this game, you gotta. <laughs> in this game, you have to. You are. You are your. What's what did I say? You, you are. You are you're your, advertising your, yourself. Yeah, you you're advertising your yourself. So. You yeah. are the product. You are the product. So. So you definitely want to look good, and you know you. You definitely want to feel good about yourself. Well, so. you're looking great. Your body's tight. Just don't get too buff. Your neck. And this I is the thing, I'm not like getting this. buff. I'm over here. No, you're tight. No, you're not. Oh, okay, no, okay, okay. I'm okay. saying, right. you know how them dudes be so buff? Yeah, that's that's Just, that's 80s, though. Being buff is old They still out school. here looking crazy. Yeah. They can't walk straight church. You saying Eddie Long up there with the tight <laughs> belt on. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie Long. <laughs> Bishop Eddie Long. Oh, okay, you're hilarious. So, yeah. Hilarious. But yeah, just, you know, just, I, I like working out. I like to look good. Stay healthy. And stay healthy. Because I'm going to tell you this story. I did a film, and we had to do a shower scene. And I wasn't right. Oh, my and God. from that point on, he was I was like, never again <laughs> will I have this feeling <laughs> of, of insecurity. Like, of insecurity and be like, you know what? I'm Turn not, off the lights. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Put me in the back. So I was just like, from that point on. That's why I take it very serious, you know. Everything when you're an actor, that's that's everything. You gotta you gotta look good. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself, absolutely. Have your weave right. Don't be having all that shit. <laughs> your hair in your head. Or putting too much Beijing up in your head. All on your edges, edges missing, the wrong mascara. Look, just, <laughs> hey, invest in yourself. Absolutely. Get the right hair. Yeah. All that your hair short in the front and it's sticking up when the wind blows. You need to fire your stylist. So wear your hair, <laughs> no, wear your hair no, natural. You, 
No, some people can't. Some of these women need wigs. Really? And some of these guys need lace fronts. Let's just face it. <laughs> yeah, just peel it off. Yes, they need it. The hairline back. You know, they talking about the women with the wigs, but some of y'all can. Y'all need a wig. Yeah, cats be doing too much with that Beijing. <laughs> It be Beijing on that beard, Beijing on that hairline. Thank God, I still have my hair. Oh, A, it's not receding. No. Oh, mm -hmm. you good. Good. Oh, that's you. what I'm Thank talking about. Thank you, Granddaddy. About. Oh, that good jeans yeah. take you a long way. Absolutely. You're listening to Juice Box Entertainment, and we're getting the juice with Kareem Grimes. And I'm your girl, <laughs> Miss Liz. I'm just saying. Oh, I love her.